to read from Psalm 100 and 7. Psalm 100 and 7. I will begin my reading from verse 17. He said, Fools because of their transgressions. Fools because of their transgressions. And because of their iniquity, I have treated. Fools, because of their transgression and iniquities, the scripture says they are afflicted. Their soul harbored all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gate of it. They draw near unto the gate of death. Be serious. That's nice. Then they cry unto the Lord. They cry unto the Lord. In their trouble, and say after that, this was. He said his word, and he did it, and delivered them from their destruction. And I said, he sent his word. And hear them and rescue them from the grave. Well, this is your word. I pray now, O oh God, that the remaining minutes of this broadcast, let there be healing, let there be deliverance. Everywhere that I've been listening to now, all over the world, in the name of Jesus. Let it be all manner of healings. Let it be all manner of deliverances. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. Be wise. There is joy to the wise. There is gladness to the wise. There is happiness to the wise. There is merriment to the wise. The Bible says the fools, who are fools, those who say there is no God, those who said they can't put their trust and confidence in God, those who say give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and they give to God what belongs to God, and they misquote it in context. So they live their life in compromise. They romance the world. They are friends of the world. That this fool that have turned away from God, they know God, but they turn away from Him and began to live contrary to God's way and word. Now the Bible says they are fools, and because of their foolishness, because of their foolishness, what happened? They were afflicted. They were oppressed. All manner of troubles came into their life. Hear me loud and clear. As the Lord needs every problem that have entire life. 
every trouble you have found yourself, the Lord shall remove you today in the name of Jesus. Whatever be the affliction, whatever be the oppression, whatever it is, the discomfort, the bondage to life, the Lord will intervene in His mercy and will you in the name of Jesus. The fools who turn away from God, who say there is no God, that will not be afflicted and oppressed. They did something amazing. The Bible says they cried. They cried not to all, not unto man. They cried unto God. The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes unto the east, the way comes my head. He said, my head coming from the Lord, make care of heaven and earth. And I pray this evening, that everyone listen to me now, that God's mercy will come upon you. Jesus is our wisdom. That's what the Bible says. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. The Christ has been made up to us wisdom. So, if you have Jesus Christ in your life, if you accept Jesus Christ as your pastor, Lord, and Savior, the good news is that He becomes your wisdom. And this Jesus is the wisdom and the power of God. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Is Jesus in your life? Christ in you is not only the hope of glory, Christ in you as wisdom. As the Lord of hosts live it. As you are sent into your life, as your personal Lord and Savior. And then come the spirit of wisdom of God inside of you. Now we enable you to look up to God for help. But Jesus Christ said, No one coming to the Father. He said, To me, because He's the way, the truth, and the life. And if you have come to Him before and you bastard, you need to return back home in order to experience divine intervention. He said, These fools were afflicted because of foolishness. They, they, they went away from God. They turned away from the living God. Some never want to release themselves to God. I just don't know if I stay there. But just this short prayer and I go to pray with me, they will cry together. And they will be healed all manner of healing, all manner of deliverances. Lift up your voice and say with me, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you because you came to the world to die for my sins. And for your name's sake, my sins will forgive you. Please, tonight, I confess my sin and ask that you show me mercy. Wash me your blood. Write my name in the book of life. If you are bastard, say, Lord, I return back to you like the prodigal son. Assess me. Restore me back fully to my status of sonship. Thank you for receiving me, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With that prayer, I want to, I want to show you that your sins are forgiven. You are bastard, you are restored. What we need to do now, the Bible says they cry unto God in their affliction and He delivered them from their distress. And He sent His word, the word healed them and delivered them from all their distress. I don't know the area you need healing tonight. Some of you, you need physical healing, your body. You are sick in your body. He's going to heal you right now. Because he was wounded for the transgression and bruised for your iniquities, and the chastisement that brought your peace was cast upon. 
Like his stripes we did. I see someone having, having swollen in your throat. The swollen around your neck. Healing is taking place right now in Jesus Christ. There's someone listening to me right now, you just suddenly find out you are losing your hair. Your hair falling off. You are losing your hair. I command that sickness to die. That in to die. I stop that sickness. I stop that affliction. Be healed in Jesus' name. I'm still going to ask you to lift up your voice. I cry to you to hear you, but listen to me. It's bringing you out of every distress, every depression right now in the name of Jesus. They cry out to the Lord. That was wisdom. It is wise to pray. It is wisdom, wisdom to cry to God. You have been disappointed too long because you cried to men. Why don't you try God tonight? Just cry in the name of Jesus. He's going to heal you. And I see someone, you have a strange boil. Boil like coming out of your body. Armpit. All over your body, you have this boil in sensitive places that give you discomfort. I command those boils to dry completely. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I, I, I see someone suffering from a choices. You cannot stand up. When you sit down too long, you'll be looking for something to hold, to support, to be able to stand. Right now, the fire of God is burning in your legs. All form of addresses, they are gone in the name of Jesus. The Lord is dealing with the issue of apartheid right now. I see people having issue of cholesterol. The Lord is walking your body right now, bringing healing to you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. When He sent the word, not only He them, He delivered them from the gates of death. Everyone hearing me now that the gate of death is already open unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, that gate is shut and you are rescued from death in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Cry to God. Say, Lord, I need your mercy tonight. In your mercy, please intervene in the issue of my life. Can you pray wherever you are listening to me? How Lucius the Pragedosia and Patel Basu the Car Enthusia and to Kapan the Lucia, Lord in Kapania and Dosiano the Pare. Lift up your voice, Lord, I pray, show me mercy and travel in every day of my life tonight. Ali Kukuso Seketa Baba, Burusi Brahados, Mambro Tekate, and Tokaka Sekat, Abili Kate, and Tokanos Kusra. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your voice when you listen to me. Shout and declare. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, take sickness, take disease, far away from my body. Fire away from my home. Open your mouth and pray. Every form of disease. In the blood, in the eyes, in the ears, in the heart, in the kidney, in the liver, every part of your body. Where there is sickness, where there is disease, cry to God. Say, Lord, please remove it. He said, What we serve him? He will take sickness away from our midst. And Jesus Christ came and took our infirmity, both our sickness and disease. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Say, Lord, hear me to now. Why must you spend money on that which is not bread? If there's anyone sick in your house, this is the time to lay hands. I am Brohoskina. 
Lick it to the sickness. By the power of your word, let every sickness, every disease, let it die. Can you open your mouth and say, let disease die. Every disease, everyone diagnosed, the one of diagnosed, let it die. Let the one of God like fire make every sickness, make every disease, whether it's cancer, whatever it is, let it die in the name of Jesus. Will you pray? Every disease in the blood, I remove it. Disease in the eyes, I remove. Disease in the ears, I remove. Disease in the kidney, I remove. Disease in the liver, I remove. Every sickness your body I keep in the name of Jesus. Let it be uprooted. Let it be swept out by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want to believe you are praying. If you are who's here, I say, lift up your voice. Say, Lord, please heal my business, heal my relationship, heal everything that needs healing, heal my finances, heal my career, heal my ministry. Lift up your voice, Lord, I need healing. Take sickness and disease far away from me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So what you to me now? You're not yet in the age of monocles, but your circle ceased. So time now, you're not being mistreated. And it's giving you a lot of concern. I've told you some more issues. Right now, it is restored. It's coming out, it's flowing right now. Right now, right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Rakamo Sunda. So, what is this to me now? You just lost your job and it's giving you a lot of concern. You are feeling so sad and bad. You are afraid of how you will survive. The Lord, I should tell you, is already making a way for you. Said the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, I will rescue them from the gate of death. Please talk to God. Say, Lord. Remove me and my family far away from the gate of death. Open your mouth and pray. Take me and my family far from the gate of death. Uh -huh. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? He said the thief coming over to steal to kill and destroy. But I am calm that they might have life. And that they should have this life more abundantly. He said with long life I'm going to satisfy you. And I will show you. I will show you. I will show you my salvation. Will you open your mouth and say, Lord, rescue me and my family. Rescue me and my family. Rescue me and my asshole from the gate of death. 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 And don't go no more sick at And then get by no sick at the Hey, come on and I stop you. Don't walk through that gate. Ah, don't walk through that gate. Don't walk through that gate. Don't walk through that gate. The accident, I want to push you through that gate. I stop it. The poison, I want to walk you through that gate and nullify it. Evil arrow, that want to lead you through that gate and send it back to the center. Enchantment and divination, that want to lead you through that gate and nullify it. But there is no enchantment against Jacob, no divination against Israel. In the name of Jesus Christ, every piece of the enemy, let it fall into him. And you arrest you. Your soul escaped as a born of the son of the father. Every snare of death is broken. You are your asshole. You have escaped in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Wherever you are, I want to begin to thank God now. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. So, Lord, I thank you. So, Lord, I thank you. So Lord, I thank you because all form of disease have left my body and my home. Everything that he need healing is being healed right now. It's healed. Oh, so Lord, thank you because you have delivered, you have rescued me and my family from the gate of death. No disease, no death. So Lord, I thank you because in my life, in my family, no disease, no death. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. I know you have been blessed through this broadcast this evening. 
by the grace of God, the same time tomorrow night, where tomorrow evening uh, we'll be meeting again with the third day. Uh, this divine intervention, I want you to take it serious, share, and invite your neighbors. And God continue to bless you. I know you have a testimony because you keep saying this testimony anywhere you go. And I want you to keep confessing that there is no disease and there is no death. In my life, in my home, there is no disease and there is no death. That's what the Lord has done for us. Say this word to heal them and deliver them from the gates of death. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name of God. Bless the name of the Lord. Don't forget that tonight by 11 p.m. we shall be meeting again at uh, Christ Gospel of the Local for Every International uh, at Just Shai Beshir Road. Amen. And those of you who want all my please endeavor to join and share and invite others also. God bless you. And those of you who will be coming tonight, please come in good time. Invite your neighbors, invite your friends because it will be an awesome night, our night of new song. The Lord bless you. Stay blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen.